Hello and welcome to Public Speaking. I'm Dr. Sunny. I wanted to take a few minutes to walk through the course with you and make sure you're familiar with how I've built this course to meet your needs as a student. So when you first log on to the course, what you should see is our homepage. And I've enabled announcements on this homepage so you can stay on top of what's happening in the course. I recommend you review all of these announcements each time you log in, and you can do that by clicking on an announcement. You can also see announcements by clicking on announcements in the left menu bar, and that will show you all announcements for the course, whereas when you click on the home page, it will just show you the five announcements that are, have been most recently posted. You'll then see a welcome video from me, and you'll see a toolbox here um, included in different ways to communicate in the course. So now's a good time to go through these. The toolbox has a lot of ready-made tutorials on common student problems where I walk you personally through the issue and how to resolve it. The FAQ is a place to post questions about the class. This is a public discussion board that all students can see. And if you have an issue that is not an error or a personal issue, this is where you should post it. Also, if as a student you answer a question for a fellow student before I get a chance to it, to do it and you do it correctly, you can earn extra credit. Reports is where you will post personal issues. If you're falling behind in the course, if you need to document an illness or an absence that is a college-approved activity or reason, if you are called up on military orders, if there is anything that affects you personally as a student that you need to let me know and document, you do this through reports. Um, this means that you don't send it to my inbox and instead you send it here. This allows me to keep a chronological log of all issues with documentation that you've experienced as a student. And it's also where you might report a grade error if something hasn't been graded. Next, we have find and edit, get extra credit. If you find a mistake in a quiz question or a typo or anything wrong in the course that doesn't meet those previous examples, you can post it here to get extra credit. Announcements, which we've already reviewed. And then finally, the Canvas inbox, which is also located here in the blue global Canvas menu bar. And that's a last resort if none of these previous circumstances address your issue. Now note that if you send one of these issues to the inbox, I'm going to write back and say, please post this too, and guide you to the correct place to post that information. You're then going to be asked here to, before you move on, post an introduction of yourself to the class. And you may choose to go ahead and move on and do this, um, which I recommend because you're going to have to have completed some prerequisites before you do this in the modules, but it's there as a reminder. I then have a welcome video and a Canvas walkthrough. This Canvas walkthrough. You'll then click start here and you saw at the bottom of the previous page if you want to connect on social media I have links there to do that. Now what you'll see as a student here is that there's a whole lot of information and modules here but very little that you can actually click on. You'll also notice that all that's available to you here in the left menu bar is modules to guide you as you're navigating through the course. This is because I rely exclusively on modules to present the information to you and you're expected to complete the work in the course in the order it's presented on this page. Now there are a lot of items on this page and that might freak you out a little bit at first, but what I want you to understand is that I break up the work in my class into teeny tiny assignments so you can keep moving forward even if you don't have 10 hours to devote to the course on the day that you sit down to work on it. So the first thing that you're able to click on in this module is the toolbox module is the toolbox in the resources module. 
And this is, as described to you, a place to find all sorts of information that you're going to need when getting started in the class. How to record a video, how to upload it to YouTube, how to make sure your privacy settings are correct, how to embed it in Canvas, how to see my comments on your speeches, and the nitty gritty on how to get started recording your speech. Next, you're going to have to post to the frequently asked questions. Now, if you have a question up to this point in the class, you can post it. If not, you can post, I have no questions. You have to post something at this point to move forward in the module. Next up, reports. This is going to require the same thing. You will need to post to this if for the first time that you're reading it. And if you have no current personal issues to report, you can let me know that, but this lets me know that you know how to submit a report in the class. And you'll just go here, you can upload a file, but for this purpose, if you have nothing to report or document, you can have a text entry here and say, I have no current personal, uh oh, I'll have to fix that, that will interfere with participating in the course. And note when you do this, you can also make a comment that is a private comment between you and I on that work. And this is something that you can do at all points in the future in the class. Once you submit that report, I recommend you go back to modules and take a look where you are in the course. You're next going to go on to find and edit, get extra credit. And again, if you have found no errors, so far in the course, I still want you to show me that you know how to post to this so you can reply and post that reply and keep moving forward. And that is where you're going to be asked to introduce yourself to the class. This is to make sure you are able to record and upload videos to YouTube and embed them correctly in our course. But as always, you can choose not to participate, um, but you do have to submit something to this assignment. And again, you're going to post that you have no questions after reviewing this first module. Now, the purpose of this first module is to make sure that you have all of the tools and understand all of the ways that we communicate in our course. And once you complete those, you can skip through the different social media prompts. It's just letting you know where I'm available online. And it's going to take you to the next module, which for our purposes this time, that next module is also going to begin with the toolbox just to make sure you've seen it. And once you complete that, looking at that toolbox in the second module again, and if you've really reviewed this, you can just go through that, but it's there for your reference. You are then going to be shown the syllabus. And the syllabus has a lot of videos in it. That is not meant as a distraction, but rather these are students who've made videos for me in the past on how to best approach the class. And I think that's some of the best information that's in the syllabus. Once you take a look at the syllabus, you're going to take the syllabus quiz. Now with quizzes in our course, they are all averaged. Um, into your grade. The lowest two are dropped in case you miss one. You can always submit them late. And so you can go through here and this just ensures that you have read the syllabus. And it's going to prompt me to go through all these questions which I'm going to skip so as not to give you the answers. But I do want to go through this so you can see how the quiz keeps unlocking subsequent items in the module. And really these are just compliance issues, making sure you understand 
how the course is graded, what's required of you, and that you've taken a close look at the syllabus. For example, we have AM and PM due dates in our class, and this often throws students off, but it's designed to keep you on track. I like to remind you that deadlines are the last minute you can turn something in, and you shouldn't let AM or PM dictate your work in the class. Hopefully you'll be working way ahead of that. A little boring. I'm going to go ahead and submit it now. Notice that you can take the quiz again. And this means that you can take it again during um, any time before the late work grace period ends to earn the highest score possible. And this is something I do because I feel that if you're willing to study the information and learn it better, you should be rewarded in your grade. Next up, you're going to see our course reading, our textbook, which is completely free online. It is available with direct links from the syllabus, or you can go online and search for the Public Speaking Project. But to help you out, I've included PDFs of the chapters so that you can easily see them from your smartphone app if you're using that. You're then going to similarly take the quiz. And you're going to continue doing this for all of the items in that first graded module. So that would be the quiz, and then you're going to have a communication cycle lesson, which you must view, an extra credit assignment, which if you choose to skip, you will need to submit something that lets me know you're skipping it and you understand that can impact your grade. Then you'll submit your speech, self and peer evaluations. Now note, you don't actually submit to these self and peer evaluation assignments. You're not able to submit anything. You complete these evaluations on the toolbox speech discussion board here. And I award you grades or make comments in these that you'll see in the grade book. You'll then have an opportunity for extra credit. Again, if you choose to skip that or this module feedback extra credit, you'll need to submit something that lets me know why and that you understand how that could affect your grade. Now, since the last day to drop with refund is Tuesday, August 28th, I've asked that you complete these tasks in this first number one introduction to public speaking graded module by August 24th. That's a Friday. I don't usually work on Saturdays or Sundays, and this gives me time to make sure you're on track to be successful in the course. You'll then see that you'll have deadlines every Friday in our course. As we get to the later modules, you will have a couple of weeks to work on certain later speeches. All right, that's our start of the walkthrough. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I am available Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and I try to answer questions as quickly as possible. If you've not already downloaded the free mobile app, for Canvas for your smartphone and the YouTube app. I strongly encourage you to do that now. Although they won't allow you to complete everything in the course, it's a great way to stay on top of things. Also, if you've not yet clicked on account and set up your notifications in Canvas, um, it's not going to let me do this as a test student, but that's how you can dictate to Canvas if you'd like to be notified of grades, of deadlines, of comments from me or classmates. All right, let me know if you have any questions in the FAQ. I look forward to meeting all of you.